let's talk the crypto space now because the last time you were on, uh, you, you know, you you had mentioned how you had you had a change of heart when it came to, to Bitcoin. Now you're fully in the crypto space. I'm excited to talk about the projects you're involved in. But first, uh, Chamath Palapatia responding uh, to critics, including Ray Dalio, saying that look, uh, regulators will stop Bitcoin if it gets too big. He responded saying you can't stop Bitcoin. Obviously, we saw the China news. Uh, what's your take? Can, can Bitcoin be stopped or will governments win? You know, it's a great debate. However, the productivity enhancements that are available through cryptocurrencies and the entire infrastructure of decentralized finance are far too interesting for even governments. I don't think the U.S. government wants to fall behind in the development of new payment systems and services online that are being brought forward by the development in all kinds of centralized and decentralized finance systems. And so I, I don't see a, a situation where crypto is ever going away. Now, as far as being an investor in crypto, I tell people this all the time that ask me. I've declared recently by the end of the year, I'm hoping to be at 7% of our operating company's portfolio in, in cryptocurrencies in addition to level one and level two um, blockchains. And so I'm investing in a wide range of different crypto products as a strategy, but the idea that um, uh, you know the governments all around the world are going to synchronize and make Bitcoin illegal, I think, is far fetched. And you, you know, the best way to look at it, if you're an investor, is either you believe in decentralized finance and you believe in centralized finance and you believe in Bitcoin and Ethereum and blockchains, or you don't. If you don't, stay in gold as a as a hedge. And if you do, you know, tip tip into it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm suggesting. Uh, I, you know, everybody has their own risk tolerance, and I must say the crypto space is very volatile. That's obvious. But I'm now going to be at seven percent, hopefully by year end. So I'm a believer in it. I'm an investor in it. I put many bets out with different companies now. They're developing products in these areas, and I'm pretty comfortable with where I sit. So I'm, I'm happy to listen to anybody. But I'm sorry, I don't agree. If the answer is you have zero exposure to crypto, right? Seven percent crypto. What is that? What percentage is in gold? You had some in gold before. Yeah, I have five percent in gold. Okay. So crypto for the first time is is more than gold for me, um, and I'm going to keep my gold. Right. I see no reason not to not to sell you to sell it.